Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you know, I am shortly departing on a new adventure throughout the West Coast. First to Vancouver, I'm actually going a little bit earlier than I thought I was because I have a job interview and then I'm over to Seattle where I will be reunited with my much missed kitty cats. So, so as you know, I have some basics and a few cashmere sweaters and things here, but very little clothes that are appropriate for where I'm going and the things that I will be doing. Mainly as I was doing job applications, the realization quickly dawned on me that I had absolutely nothing here that was appropriate to wear to an interview. and. For me, being dressed appropriately is very, very important for my field of work, which is law. It's pretty conservative and appearing polished and feeling polished is really important. So I wanted to invest in some really good suitwear pieces for that and then get some things on sale that would be, you know, potentially for a work environment. And I wanted to get some affordable things that I could kind of mix and match and create a capsule wardrobe type experience. Now, if you've seen my channel, you know, I love clothes, so the minimalist life is not for me in the long term, but for the short term, I'll be traveling with two suitcases and I need to fit everything in there. And so that is kind of what I'm creating. So I bought quite a few things. Um, don't judge, this is a unique situation in life and I definitely wish I did not have to be doing this, but that is a situation that I'm in. So I'm excited to share what I got. I did get some fantastic deals on really high quality clothing, and that is my approach. I really do prefer to keep things for the long term. And if I look at the suitwear pieces that I have that are in storage, they are things I've had for usually five years plus. So my previous suit was Hugo Boss, and I've had it since... I think 2013 or something so a very long time and so I did feel justified in buying two new suits and it is a mix and match kind of set two long blazers so that way I can kind of mix and match I got two pairs of trousers in different silhouettes and it's something that you have to decide for yourself whether you prefer to wear a skirt suit or pants suit but I am definitely a pants suit girl so those are the outfits that I created so this jacket is from Theory and it has a very subtle plaid check. I do love a long line blazer and so I was really happy to find two that were on sale. So Theory, always a good place to look for very high quality suitwear and then slightly lower price point but still very high quality. The kind of item you would keep for a long time is Ellie Tahiri and previously my black suit um, that I still have but it's a little bit big and like I said in storage is Hugo Boss and it's wool so this time I opted for a crepe fabric and I really like how light it feels when worn. Um, if you overheat when you're a little bit stressed like I do I think it's a really good suggestion and I'm very happy with the fit and the overall quality and styling. Very classic keep forever kind of piece. And I got two pairs of black trousers, which may look the same, but in real life are quite different, both from Ellie to Harry. Um, this first pair is a little bit thicker and more structured. It's just a different kind of look. It doesn't have any swing to it, if you like, in the fabric. And then the second pair is also crepe, so it's the matching fabric for the black jacket. And the name of this style is the Marsha and I will link everything that I mentioned down below. Most of it is still available. Really enjoy the way it has a faux fly on it. So in my opinion, flies are something that's imported from menswear with very little point that adds bulk to your outfit where you don't want it. What are you gonna do with it anyway? Much better to have the zipper on the side. So you have the faux flied and then the zipper on the side and then some faux pockets at the back, again, that don't add any bulk and a fabric that has a lot more swing than the other pair. So definitely a different look, um, but both very classic, very business formal, um, which was what I was looking to create. And then from then on, when you have that palette, you can have a little bit of fun with it. So let me show you some of the things that I got to wear underneath. One of them that is new is actually what I'm wearing right now, which is a shell top from Nick and Zoe. And I love the way it has a subtle gather at the back 
back and then at the front it's kind of got a nice seam and it's got two little points here so nice um, detailing and not too wrinkly as well I've been wearing this all day it's the afternoon now and it's not wrinkly despite the humidity to me little swingy shells like that are an absolute must-have basic and so I wanted to try a second one as well very very similar styling oops it's got this flipped so this is more of a faux wrap top the look is a little bit different it's a hint more casual in my opinion and um, this one is from Bobo, so another really affordable brand but I really wanted to have two that way if one is in the wash I still have a spare just in case and then for less formal meetings or occasions keep in mind I did need some clothes for every day as well I got some black Pull on pants from Spanx. Now, this is Spanx's answer to the Ponte pant market, which has a lot of options, but very hard to find a pair that fits well. Um, in the past, I've had really good luck with Rag and Bone, um, with Nordstrom's own brand. Those are my all time favorites. I'll link them down below for you guys just in case um, you've never seen me mention them before. These are Ponte and they're not like a legging. They're much thicker and they're not as tight, but they do have a thick waistband that sucks you in. I'm not sure how much I'll love that over time, but at first glance, they fit really well. They're comfortable. And like I said, they're not too legging-like because in terms of leggings, I got something else. And this is purely for casual wear, but could be nicely mis mixed and matched with a long blazer as well for drinks or something. Thing. So these appear tiny, but they stretch like crazy and they are a full leather from Commando and I have seen the Spanx leather ones in store and the Commando ones and I do think that the Commando ones are superior in terms of quality. They're fully lined and the lining is easy to slip on because otherwise this leather like fabric is kind of a nightmare to get into. Um, they suck you in but not too much. I did opt to get a small instead of an extra small so they wouldn't be absolutely painted on looking. Definitely a bit of a look. Um, that I'm really enjoying that combined with a cashmere sweater a little bit longer um, and some heels is a very easy outfit and very easy to mix and match. My favorite way to do it is to do a little bit of like a Bolaire Waldorf look on top with a headband, red lip, and then a little bit more kind of Serena like on the bottom I guess with leggings and I think that's a nice kind of pairing that's neither too dressy nor too casual. So those things were all from Nordstrom and moving on to Saks Off Fifth, I had some really good luck there and all of these things are still available, I've checked, especially this one because it's so cute. Look at this sweater, it is a partnership between Say, which is a very, very premium cashmere brand and Saks Fifth Avenue and I absolutely love it. The original price was a whopping $575 down to under $100 and I'm obsessed. The leopard print is actually black and navy, which is fantastic, makes it very easy to pair. And then it's got this bright red background. If I had to describe my capsule wardrobe theme, it would be leopard, red, blue, and then classic. So a lot of boots and black pants and black shoes. Um, but the whole thing is kind of peppered with some fun jewel tones and some leopard print. I have quite a few things in leopard print, a few things I brought and then a few things I bought. I have one more to show you. Um, but another top that I got um, from Saks Off Fifth that was very good value if you're in the market for some more knitwear, I have some really good options to show you today. Um, this one is from Vince and it is a v-neck, but it is, it is the most whisper thin cashmere blend. It's absolutely weightless, like wearing a cloud. Very swingy, a little bit oversized, I love this kind of look and that paired with the leather leggings would be really nice for more of a casual look or you could dress it up with some black pants as well and a blazer on top because it's thin enough to actually wear under a blazer so very good look for me. Um, and then I have very few t-shirts with me, so I treated myself to a new one in this gorgeous burgundy, and I'm going to show you a sweater that could go on top of that in a moment. So this is from Vince also, also very discounted, beautiful burgundy color. So most of everything else I'm going to show you now is from Neiman Marcus Last Call, which is so discounted right now. I got a cash discount, now they have a percentage discount that is even steeper, so you guys would get an even better deal than I did. Um, but I got two 
two cashmere pieces or sets. Um, the first is this wrap style sweater in this also gorgeous burgundy. Absolutely love this color right now. I feel like I skipped fall being in Florida and now I'm catching up in almost every possible way. Um, but I absolutely love the softness of this. If you've never tried Neiman Marcus's own brand cashmere, it's pretty pricey, but if you get it at last call, it's a lot cheaper and the quality is very high. Another piece to add to that mix and match suitwear look is this little shell in this absolutely gorgeous, I think they call it deep sea or deep blue or something like that. It is just a very dark teal and it's beautiful and it's very fine and very lightweight again so that you don't sweat through your suit with a thick cashmere piece underneath um, and the cardigan look is huge right now so I did get the matching cardigan as well and I think this would be a really nice outfit for like a coffee meeting or something like that this some pearls black pants heels done so I have a lot of shoes to show you but I'm going to show you coats first because I got two really fantastic coats one is much more classic and the other is my very fun piece because you need a few things like that in a capsule wardrobe otherwise it's going to be all black or all navy and really boring first coat i got is this absolutely stunning coat from the couples i've always wanted a plaid coat in red and this one is an absolute stunner. It's got a boucle kind of fabric that's actually pretty warm. It's wool. It was originally extremely expensive, over $700, but deeply discounted um, to much less. And then it's got this gorgeous pin on that is removable, which is an upside down fleur de lis. I kind of want to put it right side up, but I'm undecided. And it's got velvet buttons and a little velvet collar as well. It is a little bit kind of festive, but I'm here for that. So that's my statement piece. In the things that I brought, I did have a trench coat and a lighter jacket, but I wanted something that was going to be a little bit warmer and longer. And this is what I got. So this is from Badgley Mishka. And you may think this is real fur and you're starting to type out your comment down below. It is not. This is faux fur. It's faux mink and it is the highest quality faux fur I have ever seen. It's really not my thing normally because I hate the plasticky feel of it, but this and I, I feel like you can kind of tell from the shine on it is gorgeous and it's a very dark brown it's bright out here and kind of tropical lighting I feel like you can really see the difference between the black and the brown um, but in real life it's a subtle difference and it has a little cuff as well and the whole thing is very simple with a checked quilted material that's very warm and it has easy snap buttons so it's, if it's very cold or rainy I could wear this on top of a suit and it would work out well. It has a nice simplicity um, but dressiness to it at the same time and because it's nice and long I also think it would look great over a dress because you wouldn't have your dress sticking out um, underneath it which is not a huge deal for me but I know it's one of my mom's pet peeves and so I'm sure there's some of you out there who don't like that either so I'm really happy with this coat and it was a fantastic value. I thought this red box was beautiful and kind of matched my favorite red lipstick that I'm wearing now so I put it next to me. This is my splurge pair of shoes. Um, I got them at Saks Off Fifth. Being Ferragamo they were still pretty pricey but I will say if you ever see these shoes with the gold heel they're still available on a couple of sites I think so I'll link them for you. Um, but if you ever see these gold heels buy them. I know Ferragamo is pricey, but these heels are indestructible, and I know that because I have a higher version on a pair of burgundy pumps that are in storage, um, and they are, I think, two or three years old and absolutely still pristine. There is not a scuff on them, and underneath as well never needs to be replaced either so far. Plus, these ones are patent, so they are shiny, and usually, unless it's a poor quality, um, they don't scuff up very much and are easy to clean as well, so very wise choice. I wouldn't wear this to an interview because of how shiny they are at the back, but I still think they look very professional um, for a professional look overall with a slightly lower heel, especially very easy to walk in, very comfortable. So I was really excited to find that on sale. I did mention there was more leopard coming, so here it is. These were 50 bucks from Last Call, originally 120. They are Neiman Marcus's own brand and they are absolutely gorgeous. They are very high, so this is more for going out at night, um, but I really love them. I think they're so beautiful. It's a good leopard print, which is hard to find in a shoe. I have not had a new pair of leopard heels 
for a while for that reason because it's so hard to find a good leopard print and I'm really happy with the quality of um, Neiman Marcus's shoes because I have another pair as well. These are my new interview business formal heels. They have a lower heel than the leopard ones do so a little bit more stable but same silhouette overall with the pointy toe and I really like the way it's a subtle kind of almondy pointy toe it's not very exaggerated and witchy but it does give you that kind of confident gait that I really love so you can go for a block heel or a higher heel with a bit more of a stiletto shape for an interview I am adept enough in heels that I can do that and um, it'll make me feel pretty confident and put together so I'm excited about these very simple and fantastic deal as well and then final two pieces that I'm going to show you are both water repellent booties and the reason for that is both Vancouver and Seattle are extremely rainy and I plan to do a lot of walking in both so I have one casual pair and these are a new discovery brand that I have never tried before the brand is made in Italy and it's called Muchi and they are very comparable to your Aquitalia, to your Blondo, but the price point on these is wonderful. They have a very thick and sturdy um, anti-slip, nice little heel. These are going to be so comfortable and so perfect for walking around in poor weather. I can really feel um, how thick and well made they are and these are going to be especially weatherproof. A little bit more precious but still um, weatherproof as Aquatalia is um, and they have fantastic quality so if I get a little bit of mud on these or something like that I know that they will survive from the other boots that I've had from them over the years, which are many. Um, so this is a higher price point. Aquatalia is a higher price point, but the quality um, deserves that in my opinion. And I've always wanted a pair of little scrunchy boots. And so these ones have a little kitten heel, a little point as well. So they're pretty sassy and I really like that. I think this with some black tights or skinny pants. I got two pairs of um, skinny jeans in my last um, Revolve haul that will look really nice with this. So I wanted something a little bit more dressy for boots and so I got these guys and I'm really pleased with them. I'm sure I'll get a few more things as I go along but not too much because I am constrained in terms of suitcase space so I'm being a lot more curated than I usually am. If you guys want to see once I land and have my closet set up what the whole capsule closet looks like with the pieces I already had um, added in I think that would be fun and we can maybe do some mix and match outfits to go with that work outfits things like that. Um, I'm really excited to get back into creating that kind of content and maybe we'll do some interview looks as well given that I will have actually worn some of these looks for real life interviews um, which I haven't done for many years now so it's fun to get back into that and get my thinking cap on about good things to wear good things to combine for those sorts of occasions so thank you so much for watching this video for your patience as always we're getting back into the regular swing of things and i'm happy about that definitely give this video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see my next installment and i will see you next time bye